Yeah, I, I read a lot. I'm a, like a massive uh, reader. But I switched from reading uh, printed books to Audible. So I'm on Audible. I probably got all the badges in Audible by this time. So they'll be wondering who is this guy. <laughs> so I just read like massive. I read like one and a half hours a day or something like that. Like every, it's very simple. Like half an hour to home, half an hour back to office. And then every night I walk and then I learn, I listen for another half an hour. So like uh, an hour, hour and a half, I... You can easily finish um, a six hour book in a week or week and a half. So you can easily learn two books a month. So which means like 25, 25, 26 books you can read. And, and a lot of the learning is also from what other people learn and come and present to me. That's the easiest thing. Like they will do a lot of learning and then come back and do one presentation to me. I'll ask them five questions and they'll be like, okay i didn't talk about that and they'll go do some more research and come back to me that is also the thing and uh, and sometimes i do learn myself like uh, for example uh, one of the shortcuts i use is when i want to learn something very intense i tend to I, this is a hack i've been following when i was from hp days when i want to learn something i announce a training session so you you basically announce a training session and say like okay i want to teach on this topic whoever wants to sign volunteer this volunteer uh, I will teach right and and once you put a date and the training session out there you got a better because you're going to stand on the stage and <laughs> talk to people you better I don't know what the question came on sorry <laughs> right so like you ought to be prepared uh, super prepared for answering all those questions right so you prepare a lot for that I'm not a very super organized person but one way I organize myself is putting everything into a rhythm like for example, if I have to read, if I have to read two books in a month. If I say I have to somehow read two books in a month and I scramble through a night and read, it's not going to happen. So I basically say I'm going to drive to office. During the time, I listen to Audible half an hour, home half an hour, and then walk half an hour, and you kind of combine that, it will happen. If it is not fitting into the schedule, nothing will happen. So, so more than willpower, it is the habit. If you make anything that you want to do, make it part of your daily habit, because it. A lot of people think you need the willpower, but more than willpower, what you need is a habit forming mechanism. So you just form habits, just like brushing the teeth in the morning, right? You just don't forget it. Every day you wake up and automatically go and brush. You don't need, it's a reflex action, right? How do you make this as a reflex action into your system? That's a shortcut. So just a side anecdote, sorry, one of those training sessions I conducted, it was a session on Oracle SQL, Oracle database training. Okay, this was in 1999. It was in HP. Uh, I just announced one. In HP, you know, it's a, I don't know whether you guys know, HP one of the most celebrated companies in the Silicon Valley because all the Silicon Valley culture was borrowed from HP. Uh, if you didn't know, you should know. Because Google's culture is borrowed from HP, Apple's culture is borrowed from HP, all the cultures, the mother culture actually came from HP because HP has this employee handbook called HP Way. So anybody starts a company in the valley, they just take HP Way, change the name, modify here and there, publish, that becomes that company's employee handbook. <laughs> and uh, Google's 20% time off, you talked, it's a famous thing, is actually borrowed from HP because in HP it was called G-Job. I knew this in 2000, 1998, I used it. <laughs> but Google was not even there at the time or a popular company. So they all, it's all borrowed from it. So HP is one of those celebrated companies. So yeah, coming back, um, 1999, they did this and Saturday it was announced. So HP center head, one of the center head just walks into that event. And he was like one big guy. Like, he's like, uh, he's like top most guy, right? He's like, I was like, why? what is this guy doing here? He's supposed to be a senior most manager, right? Why is he sitting in an SQL database class? And he was sitting so quietly. And he attended the session without any distraction, knowing, throw, no, throwing no authority, just like a normal student. And it turned out to be my life-changing experience. Uh, so I left HP and joined the next company he was heading because we built relationships after that. And when I started Orangecape, he was the first investor in my company. <laughs> so like you, you never know where, where, how these things connect, right? So I just threw this training session with no intention of uh, somebody like this attending it. So it had a lot of other benefits, it's side story.